Hi guys, welcome back to Derive. In today's video, we're going to answer passport exam problems for the machine design and for chapter two, which is the stresses. That was the normal stresses for today's topic. So we already discussed the chapter one, which is the basically parang ano yun eh, strength of materials question. Because strength of materials question, uh, strength of materials question or subject is a prerequisite of machine design. So sa chapter two natin sisimulan yung stresses and we're going to start with the normal stresses. So meron tayong shear stress din sa mga susunod na video. Stresses due to impact loads, resultant stress, and so on and so forth. So tara, let us start this one. So first problem, a hollow steel tube with an inside diameter of 80 millimeter must carry an eggshell tensile load of 330 kilonewton. Determine the smallest allowable outside diameter of the tube if the working stress is 110 meganewton per square meter. So the question is looking for the smallest allowable outside diameter of the tube. No? So bakit hinahanap si outside? Kasi meron tayong given na hollow steel. So pag sinabing hollow, merong outside and merong inside diameter. So kunyari, ito yung bilog. Kunyari, bilog. So ito yung bilog. So meron tayong capital D, which is the outside diameter. And meron din tayong inside, which is small d. So that was for the inside diameter. No? So kunyari, ito yung cross section niya. Kasi Sabi, tube eh. So, ibig sabihin, that was circular. No? So, kunyari, uh, perfect circle natin. So, the question is looking for the uh, allowable outside diameter given that the inside diameter is 80 mm. So, small diameter daw is 80 millimeter. And carry an eggshell tensile load. So, kunyari, per perpendicular to the video, we have a force designated by F of 330 kilonewton, which is the eggshell tensile load, and a working stress of 110 meganewton per square meter. So sabi natin, stress is S, 110 meganewton per square meter. So wag malilito guys, meganewton per square meter is also the same as the newton per square millimeter or megapascals. Okay? So this is 110 newtons per square meter. Okay? So this is a normal stress and we all know that the normal stress as a formula of S is equal to F over A, which is the A is your cross section and the F is the force applied. No? So given naman si S dito, given din si F. So si area natin kukunin or sa area natin kukunin yung big Diameter. So the cross section area is pi over 4 since it is hollow. So that was the difference of the square of the two diameter. So the pi over 4 multiplied by the capital D squared minus is small d squared. Okay. So everything is set, I think. So direct substitution lang to. So ang stress natin is 110 newton per square millimeter is equal to F. F is 330 kilonewtons. So, multiply na natin ng 1,000, guys. That will become newton. Kasi ang 1 kilonewton is 1,000 newtons. Okay? So, ang area natin is pi over 4. D squared minus 80 squared. So, this will become an mm squared. Kasi si diameter na small is millimeter in square mo. That will become millimeter square. And everything of the unit analysis is on the right track because it is Newton, Newton, this is mm squared, and this is mm squared. So expect that the answer should be in mm as, uh, as nakalagay doon sa choices. So this will be a direct sub. So uh, ship solve will do. So 330 times 1,000 pi divided by 4 times 110 sa ilalim. No? You may do it in this way, guys. Kumbaga, uh, nag-cross, ano ka, cross-multiply. So, 330 times 1,000 divided by 110 muna. 
n times pi over 4 kasi may constant ka pa sa baba. So this is answer. So cd squared minus at squared mapupunta sa taas equal to this answer. So plus at squared no? and get the square root. So our answer will be 101.1. So this technique, oh, not na, hindi siguro matatag na technique, but this is uh, one of my procedure in getting the uh, answer. No, Kasi along the way, I can uh, I can get a, an important or significant figure. So inuunti-unti ko, pero direct sub will do, guys. So parang nag-ano lang ako, algebraically procedure. Algebra, algebraic procedures. Parang nag-cross-multiply lang ako. Okay, so parang naging ganito. 330,000 na natin. No? Pi over 4, 110 is equal to d squared minus a t squared. So parang ganun. Yung answer dito kanina, di ba? Pinukulit natin dito yung plus a t squared. So para makuha lang natin si d squared. And square root the answer, the answer is 101.1 mm. Okay, so that was our outside diameter. So meron ba tayong 101.1 sa uh, multiple choice? So ayan. We have the letter A as 101.1. Okay, so move on tayo sa second question. A rectangular metal bar has a width of 10 mm and can support a maximum compressive stress of 25 megapascal. Determine the minimum breadth of the bar loaded with a force of 3.25 kN. No? So determine the minimum breadth. So since this is a rectangular cross section, of course, meron kang length no? and meron ka rin width. No? So ang sinasabi dito, so the rectangular metal bar has a width of 10 mm, no? And can, uh, and can support a maximum compressive stress of 25 megapascal. Determine the minimum breadth of the bar. So sabihin na natin si length si breed. So that can be designated by small b. No? And kunyari, no? ito yung metal bar natin, which has a cross section of rectangular. So siya si 10 mm. At ang anon is b. No? na nakaranas daw ng compressive stress of 3.25 kN. No, which is experience also which has experienced also a stress of 25 megapascal. So we are looking for the breadth. So pwede nating sabihin si to kasi compressive, no? And let us designate this 3.25 kN as Fc for compressive. And we all know that compressive basically has the same formula as the axial tensile load. No, nagiba lang ng direction dito. No, so that was uh, S is equal to F over A. Mangyari lang, magiging sito, magiging sito for compressive representation. And our cross sectional area is uh, ayan, it's a rectangular uh, metal bar. So this is a rectangle. So the formula of the area is. A uh, breed times width. Siyempre, si force sa taas. So that will be 25 megapascal for SC. So that was Newton per mm squared also. It's equal to FC which is 3.25 times 1,000 na natin guys. Para maging Newton because 1 kilo Newton again is equal to 1,000 Newton. And the cross-sectional area is simply a breed times width. So that was breed times width, which is 10 mm. Of course, this is Newton cancel. Meron pa rin mm na isa. Meron dito squared. So that will be canceled ng isa. So that will become mm na lang. So expect that the answer will be an mm. Kagaya ng nasa choices. So the minimum breed will be 3.25 times 1,000. Divide 25, divide 10. So pwede mo rin siyang ship sold or isa isa mo, so that will become 13 mm. Okay, so meron ba tayong 13 mm dito? So ayun. The answer is letter D, 13 mm. Okay, so next question. 
the bending moment acting on the triangular cross section of a beam is m equal 3.6 kilonewton meter determine the maximum tensile bending stresses acting on the cross section so the answer uh, the question should be the bending stress lang no we're looking for a single bending stress no as you can see on the choices isa isa lang yung given na uh, stress so determine the maximum tensile bending stress so let us designate the bending stress as sb no and pwede na tayong maglagay ng tensile dito no yun kasi yung nanap so meron ding given na m or the bending moment which is 3.6 kilonewton meter no and 1 kilonewton meter guys is equal to 1 million or 10 raised to 6 newton mm bakit kasi pag ginonvert mo 1 kilonewton is 1000 newton 1 meter is 1000 mm so that was 1000 newton times 1000 mm that was 1 million newton mm or 10 raised to 6 newton mm so that will become 3.6 times 10 raised to 6 newton mm so inaanap maximum tensile bending stress and we all know guys that the bending stress is equal to mc over i so meron na tayong moment ang inaanap natin the c and the i no we all know that the i of a triangle or the moment of inertia is bh cube over 36 so ang base natin is 60 no 60 ang height natin is 120 as you can see so that was cube divided by 36 and that will become 60 times 120 cube divided by 36 that was 2 million am i right 2,880,000 cubic mm raised to 4. Kasi isa to, tas tatla to, so that was raised to 4 or power of 4. No, meron na tayong i, so sa c na lang tayo. So let me draw first again the cross-sectional area. So medyo paleng, so kanyan. So this is 60 and this is 120. Ang sabi, ang hinahanap dito guys is the maximum tensile bending stress. So sa sa review natin, no? Kapag kunyari ito yung beam mo, no, at nakaranas siya ng positive bending stress which is kagaya nito, no? Ang portion na kunyari ito yung uh, neutral axis, no? Pag sinabi kasi bending stress may neutral axis. So, kapag ang body or material undergone a positive bending stress, so may stretch na portion niya is ito. Ibig sabihin, ito yung makakaranas ng tension. No? At ang makakaranas naman ng compression ay itong portion na to. Tama? So, this is the tension which is the CT Ah, CT. So, ano pa yung natin? So, this portion naman is the C. C, no? So, ibig sabihin, guys, kapag binend mo this way, ang makakaranas ng tension ay yung portion na to, which is ito yung CT. At ito naman yung CC. Kasi yun naman ang makakaranas ng compression. Okay. And we all know, guys, in order to get this, we all know that the center of gravity no, for this axis no, is uh, h over 3 for this. And dito naman is 2h over 3. And we all know that the height is uh, 120. So it should be 40 mm. And the uh, cc is 80. No, 120 minus 40, it should be 80. No, pero hindi na natin siya kailangang ilagay. Bakit? Kasi we are looking only for tensile bending stress. No? So, MC over I. So, that will become... So, that will become 3.6 times 10 raised to 6 times C, which is 40. Okay? 
Pasensya na guys kung bura ako ng bura. So ang I natin is 2, 8, So this is mm raised to 4. This is mm. And our moment is Newton mm. So merong makakaroon ka ng Newton mm squared divided by mm raised to 4. So that will become... Newton mm squared or megapascal. So the answer is 3.6 times 10 raised to 6 times 40 divided by 2880000. So that will become S is equal to 50 megapascals. Okay, so what do we have here? Meron ba tayong 50 sa choices? 175.50. Ayun. So, meron tayong 50 megapascal. And the answer is letter C. Okay. So, nakakatatlong tanong na tayo, no? So, here's the fourth question. The lap joint, which is on the picture, guys, is connected by 320 mm diameter rivet. So, ito yung tatlong yun. No, ito, ito, ito. So, Palitan ko lang ng kulay muna para makita natin. So, kunyari itong pula. So, ito siya. So, one, two, three. No? The rebets. The 20 millimeter diameter rebets. So, lagay na natin agad. So, diameter. Assuming that the axial load P is equal to 50 kN. So, sabi ang P is 50 kN. It's distributed equally among the three rivets. Find the bearing stress between a plate and a rivet. So, ibayin ko lang ulit yung kulay. So, ang sinasabi, bearing stress naman, kasi nga under tayo ng normal stress. So, we all know that the bearing stress, again, basically, is, it is the S is equal to F over A. No? Pero, ang area pagdating sa usaping bearing stress, it is the projected area. Assuming, again, this is your plate. Kunyari may single hole ka dyan, no? at nag-axi letter P. So, ang hinahanap is bending stress. No? So, ang mangyayari dyan, parang ko lang itong maliit. Ang mangyayari dyan, guys, pag sinabi kasing bearing stress, ang area is not the perpendicular area or the parallel area, but the projected area. So, sa, sa plate na may hole, mapoproject mo dyan is a rectangular. No? A rectangular cross-sectional area. So, we all know that the rectangular cross-sectional area has a area basically of length times width. No? So, ang magiging length mo dito is, of course, ito, which is your diameter. No? Kung ano mang uh, diameter or material ang meron ka dyan, yung diameter nun. And of course, ito, yung projection na yan, yung width na yan, should be your thickness. Bakit? Kasi ang plate mo ay, ang plate mo kasi ay may thickness. Yan. Alright. So, pag sinabi kasing bearing stress, ang area is projected area. So, kung ano yung na-project nating area no, for this circular uh, shape sa thickness, uh, sa plate with a thickness. So, this is uh, area of diameter times thickness. No? Yun yung na-project natin area. So, ang area should be diameter times thickness. So, we are looking for the bearing stress. No? So, meron tayong F. So, meron tayong giving kanina which is 50,000. Newton, 50 kilonewton is equal to 50,000 newton. Again, 1 kilonewton is 1,000 newton divided by the area. So, ang area natin is D, T. But we are missing something, guys. Why? Kasi tatlo po ang ating uh, rebet. So, kung ilan lang po, kung ilan po ang rebet natin, guys, yun yung ilalagay natin dito. So, in this case, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 20 millimeter diameter. Rebets. So this is a direct sub. So 50,000 newton divided by 3 
times diameter of 20 mm kasi diameter ng rivet times the thickness. So, ang thickness ng plate is 25 mm as you can see in the picture. No? So, again, kaya naging tatlo to kasi tatlong rivet and syempre, ang force is distributed equally among three rivets. So, pwede naman natin gawing si P is 50,000 divided by 3. Ibig sabihin per rivet yan. So, parang lumalabas, ito lang din siya, guys. Tapos, ito yung area projected natin per rivet. So, pwede rin naman 50,000 si force, no? per plate yung gagawin mo, divided by total number of rivets na sumasalo nung single force na yan. So, wala naman pinagkaiba. So, this will become a direct sub. So, 50,000 divided by 3 times 20 times 25. And that was 33.33 newton per. So, ang 20 natin is mm. Ang 25 thickness natin is mm also. So, that was mm squared. And mm squared, newton per mm squared is also equal to mega pascals. So, tingnan natin kung may 33.33 tayo dito. 33.33 sa A, 33.33 sa B. So, ito ang ating sagot. So, the answer is letter B. Okay. So, we're on the final item for the normal stress, guys. So, I'm going to read the question. Tingin ko medyo madugo ito kasi medyo mahaba yung tanong. We, are, we will see. Determine the size of a horizontal section of square bar which is to be held firmly at one end to support a weight of 1,600 kilograms at the other end. The bar is to be one meter long and is to be made from steel which, uh, with a yield strength of 500 megapascals. Use a factor safety of three. So the situation or the scenario, guys, is uh, it is a horizontal section of square bar which is held to be primly at one end. So assume natin that this is the one end. Kunyari, ito yung uh, square bar natin. No, and sabi, it is end to support a weight of 1,600 kilograms at the other end. So assuming this is the other end, the bar is to be one meter long. It's to be made from steel with a yield strength of 500 and megapascal. Use a factor of safety of three. No? So, ang hinahanap natin is yung cross-section. So, kita naman sa choices. Of course, this is a square bar. It has the same dimension for both uh, width and length. So, ibig sabihin ng cross-section niya is a square bar. So, kunyari, yan. So, kunyari, B na lang siya. Parehas B. Kasi nga, square. Okay. So, we all know Sa kitang kita pa lang sa scenario, this is a bending uh, situation. No? Bibibend ng 1,600 kg force yung square bar. So, pag sinabing uh, bending stress, that will become basically S is equal to MC over I. So, isa-isahin natin. So, kunin muna natin si M. So, saan natin makukuha si M or the bending moment? We all know in this cantilever scenario, no, ito yung magiging uh, moment natin dito sa left. Ito na may magiging moment natin sa right. So, our moment on the left is equal to the summation of all the moments, the right. And syempre, single force lang naman ang meron. So, that will become 1,600 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared kasi nakakilograms tayo and the Usual unit for the stresses is on Newton depende dun sa given na uh, unit mo ng stress. And the stress is megapascal or Newton per square millimeter. So your force should be in Newton agad dito. And of course, since this is a moment, so ang length na binibend ng 1,600 kilogram force mo is 1 meter. So gawin na natin 1,000 mm. Kasi nga, naka mm squared ka dito. So, this should be Newton mm. So, this will become 1,600 times 9.81 times 1,000. So, that was 15,696,000 Newton mm. So, that was our m here. No? 
So para naman sa CNI, we all know that the square or a rectangle no? Ang C niyan is equal to B over 2 or neutral axis, no? So that will become simplified into 0.5B and we all know that the rectang uh, rectangular moment of inertia is a BH cube divided by 12. Puray ko lang ito. So B is, of, of course B, ang H natin is, of course, B again because it is square. So that was B again, cube, divide 12. So this will become a B raised to 4 divided by 12. So everything is on the right track kasi meron tayong S which is the 500 megapascal. So alam naman natin na kapag may given factor of safety, dinidivide yan sa stress which is ito, S over N. May given tayong S, which is the yield strength. Meron tayong given na factor of safety. Meron tayong given na M. Meron tayong given na C. Meron tayong given na I in terms of P. So, makukuha na natin yung B. Okay, so direct sub sa S tile. So, that was 500 divided by 3 is equal to M, which is a 15.696. Tisha shortcut ko na lang. Times 10 raised to 6 times the C is equal to 0.5B divided by B raised to 4 divided by 12. So parehas may B, cancel na itong B dito at ito ay magiging 3. So pwede mo na siyang i-direct sub, guys. So 15.696 times 10 raised to 6 times 0.5. No? Pwede mo siyang i-cross multiply si B cube mapupunta sa... B cube over 12, magpupunta sa kabila. No? Or pwede mo namang gayahin na lang yan and direct sub. So that will become plus 3, 500. So yun, ang aking letter B is 82.67. Okay, so same ba tayong nakuha guys? based on your direct sub, uh, based on your ship sold. No? So, ang aking nakuwang cross-section is 82.67. Meaning, since this is a uh, square bar, so, ang ating dimension is B times B is equal to 82.67 times 82.67 mm. And look at the choices, guys, kung meron so, ayun, letter A pa lang meron na tayo. 82.67 times 82.67. So, ang answer is letter A. Ayun, so, enough tayo for the normal stresses. So, I hope marami kayong natutunan sa akin at nakapag-share tayo ng knowledge. No, sana sinamahan niyo ako sa ating uh, pag-resolve ng problem and the computations itself. No, uh, we already did answer A. Five item for the normal stresses and ayun, so next video natin guys we're going to answer all again a five item for another type which is the shear stress so salamat sa pakinig guys so uh, continue to subscribe to my channel and to follow my facebook page which is on the link on the comment section ayun again salamat sa pakinig and see you on our next video bye